What up? Good morning, everybody. Just picking up my daughter. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> you know, I've been the more the more you the more you walk with God, the more you realize about how some of the stuff that matter to you don't matter. Like what people think, your status, your prestige, your honor among people. It don't really matter. You know, the more you walk with God, it's like a, it's, a, it's such a humbling experience. Because you're thinking past what's going on. You're thinking past. You're thinking past from now. You're, you're looking ahead. You know. You know, you you care less about being right in front of people, winning arguments, you know. I mean, we're in a time where, I mean, it's always been like this, but it's so easy to, it's so easy to hate or dislike. It's easy, man. Because for one, you put, when you, when you, when you hate or dislike somebody or don't care for somebody, it's because it's a person thing to, that person that did to you or said something to you. And it's easy to hate. But it's, and it's, it takes more strength to have patience and love. It takes more strength. You know, I think, I mean, I mean, the enemy has done a good job at, 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 at putting stuff in our head where you got to get the last word and you got to be right and you got to, you got to be this and be that. And at the end of the day, it really don't matter, man. It really don't matter. It don't matter, you know. It's not weak to when somebody could come at you and you not say anything back. You know, I grew up. You know, if somebody dissed you or said something wrong to you and you didn't respond, everybody was like, "Oh, you being weak. You being weak. Or you being, you know." soft but it takes more strength for that same person that, that said something about you or did something about you to walk in love with them it takes more strength you know why because you're taking yourself out of it you're taking yourself out of it love is the ultimate equalizer I'm learning that more and more the more I walk with God my, my last week my pastor said something that really struck me to my core he said, he said, he said, humility is not thinking low of self, but the, but humility is thinking of selfless. And I, I, and when I thought about that, I said, man, I have to apply that to my whole life. I, 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 Lord, help me apply that to my whole life. Help me, help, help me apply that to everything that I do. Let me think about me less. You know, I mean, we, we, we live in a society and culture, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and it's all about us. We're taking selfies. We're talking about us. We're taking pictures of everything and talking about everything that we do because it's all about us. I mean, no wonder, you know, everybody, you know, talking about some people are toxic or narcissistic because the culture is toxic and narcissistic. Everything is about us. I mean, we can see somebody getting beat up on the side of the road and instead of helping a person, we'll pull out the camera phone and film it. Like, what in the world? And that's how we've gotten, man. It's, it's, it's important, man. Love is, is more, way more powerful than hate. I don't care what that person said about you. Do, do you know what you did to God? I don't care what that person done to you. Do you know what you did to God? And why Jesus had to go on the cross for our sins, even while we were yet sinners, while we were already sinful, wicked, he still went to the cross. So it's like we have no excuse to hold a grudge. Well, that person, you don't know what that person did to me. Do you understand the cost, the price that Jesus had to pay for us? It'll, it'll, it'll humble you, man. It'll humble you down to your core. And I'm going to share this real quick. I had a, um, a conflict with 
a brother of mine, probably about two or three years ago, probably three years ago. And um, we haven't talked. We haven't talked, man, in three years. And, you know, and he, he said some things that was very hurtful. And I said some things, too. I didn't cuss him out or nothing, but I did say some, I did say some, say some mean stuff that I should have said. And, and, um, and I think maybe a year after that, maybe six months, I tried to reach out to him, you know, call, of course, no answer. But I texted him, and I tried to re 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 reconsole with him, and um, pretty much he didn't really uh, accept it or whatever. And it hurt, you know. And, um, It, it hurt, but I had to think about it like this. I did my part. I extended my olive branch out to him. And, you know, I had to literally, day by day, because the enemy constantly brings it up to me, I had to, you know, pray. Pray for him. You know? Pray for him. Even though I can't physically, physically love on him, I have to pray for him. You know, because life is way more than the issue that we had or the conflict that we had. Life is way more than the issue that you had with a family or a loved one or a friend, man. Get it right. Jesus says, if you don't forgive, neither will my father forgive. Because, because, because God is just. He's just. So he he can't justly forgive you for anything that you have done if you haven't forgive, forgiven. You got to forgive. That don't mean that when you forgive somebody that the that the relationship stays the same. That you that y'all become old buddy buddy again. No, it don't mean that. But you have chosen peace. You've chosen peace with that person. What is peace? L -l -l lack of noise. Lack of confusion. Lack of it feeling weird when you're around that person. Awkward silence. This life is way more than that, man. So, I'm telling y'all, man. We gotta, we gotta walk in humility. Let's, let's think less about what the person did to us and take self out of it, and think about the bigger picture. Because if you're walking with God, if you understand the riches of His glory, the riches of His mercy, like if you understand such great mercy that he has that he has reigned on you in your life and you see how God has just stopped you from going down to a pit and just shield you from things and even allow things but while he while he has allows crushing things to happen to you he's graced you through it he's got you through it the grace you'll look at other people's lives and you'll just and you'll just Instead of instead of talking about them, pray about them. Pray to them. Pray pray to God about them. If, if somebody in your family is going through some stuff, don't 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 be the first thing you do is uh, is gossip. Man, you know, you know, uh, Jimmy. He, he back he back on he back on that dope again. Pray for Jimmy. Man, you don't know what Jimmy about. You don't know what type of demons he battling. God was with you when you was battling yours. Pray that that same God that helped you help him because he can. And he's willing and he's able. And I think sometimes we come across as Christians as judgmental and like haughty and better. And I think that's why a lot of times people don't want to, you know, come to the church and accept 
God because of people. But that was a people misrepresenting God. We got to be more humble and take ourselves out of it. It ain't about how we look. It's about it's about it's about pointing everybody back to God. Pointing everybody back to Christ. I don't care if my my past. If I tell you my my past and my mistakes, and it makes me look a certain type of way. But I can just tell you about how. Oh no no, God brought me out of that though. But then it takes it takes myself out of it and it points it always back to God. And that's what it's all about. I just want to leave that with y'all. A little short video, man. Y'all have a beautiful day. Grace and peace.